Fab integration for Unreal is here. So by default, we don't have this in here. So if I come up here, we have our bridge marketplace, but nothing about fab. And if I click on the marketplace, it doesn't even really take me anywhere anymore. So what we need to do is we need to actually install the fab integration plugin. And please forgive my voice on this because I'm working through a very intense bout of bronchitis and a head cold while doing this, but I wanted to get this info out there to you guys ASAP. So how we get fab installed, I'm going to go ahead and close this project and here here in my Epic Games launcher, we can see that there is a tab for Fab and clicking on this will take us directly to the website there. But what we want to do is we want to go to our library right here and I'm going to do this for my 5.4.4 and you'll see installed plugins here. If I click on this, all it says is Quixel Bridge. There's nothing about Fab. How we need to get this is a little unconventional. So we're going to come all the way down here to our vault area, which now says Fab Library. And what we do is we want to make sure we have all categories on here, we're going to come to the search and we're just going to type in fab. And when we do that, we'll see this fab UE plugin. If you don't see this, you can go ahead and come up here and click this refresh button. And I've heard from people that that makes it show up. But what we'll do is we'll click on the install to engine. And for this, we'll see that we can install it to 5.3, 5.4 and 5.5. So unfortunately, nothing before 5.3. In this case, I'm going to do it on 5.4. So I'll just install to engine. We'll let that download. It's a very quick download, a very quick install. And after we do that, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my project that I have in 5.4.4 that I did for the Halloween challenge over on my Learn Digital Alchemy masterclass courses. And now in here, when I open it up, it automatically opened up this browser window right here that says sign in with your Epic Games account to access Fab. So I'm going to go ahead and click on confirm for this. And then it went away, so we should be good there. Now, if I come up here to window, I can come down here and I see fab. I'll click on this, opens the fab plugin. And now here we go. This is our fab marketplace integration inside of Unreal Engine. Now over here, you do need to make sure that you are signed in. I click on this, I can see my account settings. I can see sign out, so I should be signed in. And then what we can do is we can come over here to the hamburger menu, come down through here. I'll go to my library and this is going to show all the things that I have in my fab library, which includes everything I've ever gotten from the Unreal Engine Marketplace, as well as should have everything from Quixel Megascans as well, which currently does seem like it could be a little confusing because I see all of my Marketplace assets in here. But if I were to come up here to my search bar and type in Quixel, uh, I get the one thing that I've actually downloaded from the Quixel seller on the Unreal Engine Marketplace. And if I were to type in Megascan, I get nothing in here. And then, of course, if I clear this out, and I click on, say, material and textures. I see a bunch of stuff that I've gotten from the marketplace. But once again, I'm not seeing any of my actual Megascans assets in here. But if I come up here, we'll go to discover. Let's say I want to go to 3D models and we'll come in here and we'll see all these things on the marketplace. But once again, nothing from our Megascans. Now, at the time of this recording, I can't find any Quixel assets in the fab library in the plugin inside of Unreal. For example, if I go to it in a browser to the fab.com slash sellers slash Quixel, we can come down here and let's see this rusty handsaw, which if I click on it, we can see that you own this item. So I should have it available. Rusty handsaw. What I will do is I will come back over here into Unreal and I am going to type in rusty handsaw and we'll see that it doesn't actually show up in my library here. If I close off the in my library and I I search for it. This does show up. We can click on it here. And when I do click on it, it does say you own this item and I can't actually add it to my project. So if I were to try that, click on add to project, we can see the downloading rusty handsaw here. Here it is. And then I'll move this out of the way. We've got this right here and we can see in our content browser that it does have the fab icon on the thumbnail up there. It does add it to a fab folder in our project. And if I were to drag this out here into the world, move this out of the way, we're going to come down here and look at this guy. 
and there it is right there. Now I saw the Quixel update this morning about how they completely revamped their library in here, including new master materials, new channel packing. So we're using occlusion, roughness, metalness instead of displacement. And they supposedly came in, redid all of their bakes and everything like that. So something that we can try right here is I do have some mega scans in this project already. Uh, let's look at this guy right here. This, the birch log. What I will do is I will come over here to fab. I will type in birch log and there it is here, the fab version. I don't know why it doesn't want me to use FBX, but that's okay. I'll click on this. We're going to, I'm going to use medium quality because that's what I used on the quick soul bridge edition. So I'll add this to my project and there we go. We can see it right here in the content browser. Let me drag this guy out right next to the bridge version of it. And we can see that it does look a little different. I could look better or it could look worse. That kind of depends on your own personal preference here. I do like the shape of this one right, right here. I feel like there's a possibility that they upgraded the geometry. Yes, they did. So even on the medium quality, they did in fact update the geometry for this. It does look a lot nicer, but I do have to say that I am a much bigger fan of the textures on the original Quixel bridge version. So whatever you use is up to you. Just remember that even though we do have the fab integration in here now, we can still come up here, go to our Quixel bridge. I'll close this out. And then in here, I will search for birch log. And there it is right there. We can still download these from the bridge app and add them to our project. So now we have the two different places that we can get them from. So your old project should not be broken, but you can start bringing in stuff from fab.